When we talk about legends, when we talk about notoriety, history of a particular person dominating a particular field, one name always seems to get left out. If I ask you to tell me the greatest 1v1 player of all time, you might say Fairy Peak, O'Khalid, Apparently Jack, First Killer, even Squishy. Yet none of them have achieved anywhere near as much as this player has in the 1v1 arena. The first person to finish a season as number one and number two in the 1v1 rankings. The winner of 12 Titans 1 and 12 Titans 2. The winner of Manfield Night 5K, RLCS World Champion, Finest MVP, Scrubkiller. Today we look at the most advanced way to play like this player with the help of what I believe the future of Rocket League coaching and development technology. The first thing before we talk about what Scrub does to elevate his game is to talk about Ripcore. Ripcore is used throughout this video and it is what will allow you to become scrub killer literally become them and we can do this with all sorts of players so put down in the comments below who you want to see us talk about next now this is not aimed to be a guide on Ripcore, but it will be used throughout the video you will see me using it and speaking of Ripcore, i truly believe it is the future of rocket league player development and coaching and that's why i personally reached out to Ripcore to get a discount code for you as opposed to five dollar subscription the first month will only cost you three dollars fifty using the code air charge i want to say this I do not make a penny for promoting this or if you use my code. I just want to get you a discount because I really believe in Ripcore. So let's get into this. Scrub has always been known as a defensive slash counter player. Back in the day when it was the Cookser, Marky Dudar and Scrub Killer Triangle. Scrub often bettered Marky Dudar due to his ability to wait back, make the save and then create a counter. He struggled against the Cookser because Cookser used to do the same thing. Cookser would quite happily sit and shadow and then hit with counters back. And that was what made that time of Rocket League so interesting to watch. And in the end, of course, Scrub dominated them both. And let's also not forget season six of RLCS where he won the savior of the season. That means he got the most saves. Now in recent times, Scrub has tried to work more on the ball chase style and his blend of defensive ball chaser works really well. After analyzing Scrub's replays, I found a few things that I thought were quite unique to him. Now don't get me wrong, some of this stuff you might watch and think, I already do that. But maybe some of the things you can add to your own gameplay. Kickoffs. Scrub was known for the longest period of time as the kickoff guy. People even named the diagonal hook kickoff the Scrub Killer kickoff due to how dominant it made him in the past. Quick tip, if both players are flipping in opposite directions, generally the player furthest to the outside edge, within reason, wins. If both players are flipping in the same direction, the player more central will win. However, Scrub recently changed his diagonal kickoff. Although people are now claiming this is Scrub's kickoff, this kickoff has been around for a while, successfully used by Lefemir. However, Scrub approaches it slightly differently, using a speed flip as opposed to a front flip to close the distance faster and force his opponents to go faster. From there, he turns and jumps towards the outside of the field, so his car is facing sidewards and then will do a diagonal half flip. Now this made me laugh the first time I watched this purely because against Ashley, Scrub Killer did this kick off loads and he won every single time and Ashley never switched it up. Now that was probably because it was just ranked and he wasn't really thinking, probably just switching off just working on mechanics in a tournament, he probably would have switched it up. But even so, I thought that was quite interesting to know. Now to beat this kickoff, all you need to do ironically is the scrub killer kickoff, also known as the hook kickoff. And here you can see Lowry actually using the hook kickoff to beat this particular kickoff. However, I would recommend using this kickoff if you're against a player who has a speed advantage and is using a push kickoff. The reason this works is due to what we covered in the 50-50 video, whereby creating a cushion in the right place, allowing us to get the second hit without the opponent to get the third hit, will allow us control of the play. And if you haven't seen that video, it will be in the description below. 
defense. Defense is a massive subject. I won't go into all the details of how to defend as I've made videos in the past about that, which can be found by clicking the button in the top right or again, the videos below in the description. However, Scrub does some pretty interesting things defensively. The first thing he does really well is maintaining his momentum. It's really smart how he does this. The obvious stuff is, of course, he uses wave dashes, flipping, grabbing small pads. But the other thing he does, which I thought was pretty unique to him, is his pathing. And oftentimes he will purposely go up the walls to make turns on the walls and then use the momentum coming down the wall to keep his car moving. The best example of this is the path he uses when he's defending, but has given the opponent a bit of space. If they're central, obviously he will just do a general shadow, either an outside in or an inside out, depending on the position. But if they're wide, he will take the boost leading up to the corner boost in a fashion that allows him to go up the wall, curve down, keep momentum and grab the 100 boost. and Scrub uses this a lot. If the opponent slow plays, he takes a wider line and comes down for a face out. He can then use that for a challenge, obviously, or a deep fake. If they are continuing to push, he will do a narrower turn, and then oftentimes he will attack using a side on challenge into a back flip or diagonal half flip. If they accelerate the ball as he's going towards the wall, he will cut early onto the boost and get goal side. And that leads me on to Scrub's challenging. He rarely challenges directly head on. He will always usually try to side flip or diagonal half flip into the ball. And the reason for this is a bigger hitbox. If you challenge head on, you are easy to get around because you are a smaller target, a smaller hitbox. If you turn sideways, well, you're now much bigger. And the other thing this allows is conditioning. If every time you are sideways, you challenge, how does the opponent know when you are challenging or turning away on a shadow? This way, every time you transition, essentially creates a fake. Although Scrub will face out challenge, usually on a grounded ball when he sees the opponent's car going too wide or telegraphing the hit on the ball and he will be able to block their first touch. Scrub is brilliant at defending aerial plays and to do this, he gets onto his backboard and matches the height of the ball. Once that has been achieved, he then shadows the ball downwards in height. However, this can change. If the opponent's nameplate is very high, Scrub will go lower as it's more likely they're going to shoot downwards. And if they're directly behind the ball, Scrub will stay directly behind the ball also so that he cannot see the opponent. This way he knows he's directly behind where they're going to hit it. Offense. On offense, Scrub has a few things he likes to do more often than others. The first being wall plays. If he is by the ball on the wall and the ball is either rising or at the peak, he will often go for an aerial play. This usually involves a ceiling play or an air dribble flip reset. However, he doesn't look to hit the final blow. In fact, the majority of the time, he's trying to dunk his opponent by pushing the ball at them and getting behind the hitbox. The reason for this is that you can create a 50. You'll be able to recover first, usually because you've planned the attack and you'll be able to steal their boost. And continually playing the ball high whilst blocking the 50 means that they can't counter you but you can continually boost off them and then you can add in shots and so on and so forth. In fact, the majority of the time he's looking to try and dunk the opponent by pushing the ball at them and getting behind the hitbox of the ball. To do this, he will either grab a flip from the ceiling or the ball and just wait next to it. In some situations, he'll just go for a vanilla air dribble into a block. The reason this is so good is that you can't be countered. You are blocking the escape route, so it is a bit safer. It gives you recovery time. It also means you are forcing your opponent's hand. If I'm playing the ball high, they have to come to me. To come to me, they have to use boost. Now I've planned the attack. I therefore should have the advantage. They're playing reactively. I should be able to recover first and get their boost and slowly starve them down. On a grounded ball rising, he will often go into the air and look for a similar play, although now has an increased chance of going for an air dribble bump. If the ball is rising but is moving either forward or to the sides, Scrub will look to put direct pressure on the net with half or full volley shots most often, forcing again the opponent to defend whilst he can look for demos and boost grabs and starve them down. If Scrub is carrying the ball with space and momentum moving forward, he will look for an air dribble bump. If he's carrying it in close proximity to the opponent, he will look for either a flick or a low 50. However, one thing Scrub does extremely well is the transition from defense to offense. 
if he just got a demo, his ability to get that ball on target is second to none. Okay, great. Thanks for letting us know the habits. So how do we actually use this information to improve? Well, here's what you do. You get backers mod and you get ripcore. The information for both are in the description. Note, I do not know or have the availability to help people install this software. If you are struggling to get it to work, please use the Ripcore Discord and speak to the kind people in that server. Head over to my Discord after you've installed it all and you will find a category called Play Like. From there, click on Scrub Killer and download those files. Once you have Ripcore open, any folder on your PC, copy the link from the Discord. This will then open a folder where you can drag and drop the files from the Discord. Open Rocket League, hit F2 for Backers Mod Plugins, go over to Plugins, and select Ripcore, and then click Start Match. Select Toggle Window, and then once you're on any team, you will have all the shots I have selected that I feel are a direct reflection of Scrub's style. The first thing I would recommend is watching how Scrub does the shot, or save a few times. Then click to take control of scrub and see how you do. Sometimes the boost will not be there. It's a little bit of a glitch, but regardless, still path over them. One thing the top level players are really good at is actually grabbing the boosts and not missing the boosts, as simple as that sounds. And enjoy, practice this, get better at it, use this. This is honestly, this is the future. We can do this with all sorts of players. We can analyze and break them down and we can take shots and actually become that player and see if we can match up. One of the things that's gonna be interesting with this pack is just the speed of the play and the speed of getting to the positions and making those saves. Now I know this is primarily focused on 1v1, because there is so much to look at for each player's style in each mode. However, if you enjoy this, please let me know in the comments below so I can make more. Tell me what player and game mode you would like to have a go at. If you aren't already, please hit the subscribe button to help the channel out. And a huge thank you to my patrons for booking in coaching sessions. I really do appreciate everyone. Have a nice life. Look after yourself and peace out. Peace.